Today's video is not my intention to hurt or bash modern women, but rather to help my sisters by having an intervention. I have been watching black women for decades, secretly hurting spiritually, mentally, and emotionally while pleading for help silently. But at the same time, most modern women try desperately to, to pretend that nothing is wrong and that you've got it going on. Sisters, you can't hide what's going on inside because a woman's inner pain is always going to show up on her body externally. Every man that knows how to identify when a woman is in pain will pick up clues when her appearance changes physically or when he sees her doing these four things, masking, self-mutilating, self-medicating, and self-sabotaging. Ladies, some men will take advantage of your condition and pump you and dump you, but some men will sincerely try to help you. However, most of you will play with, reject, or curve those dudes. That's because hurting people hurt other people. So today, I'm going to raise the flag and sound the alarm to try to stop some of you from doing yourself further harm. Let's talk about it. Kevin Samuels began to uh, begin his rise to YouTube stardom recommending that black people in general and modern black women in particular receive therapy. To my knowledge, he had never actually fully explained why modern women need therapy in a comprehensive and compelling way. So today I will take on that responsibility in the hope that you will listen and seek counseling. In the intro, I stated that men can tell a woman is in pain if her appearance changes physically or when he sees her or sees that she is masking, self-mutilating, self-medicating, and self-sabotaging. Another way to identify that a woman is in long-term pain is when she has a problem maintaining long-term relationships and or long-term employment. See, hurting people hurt other people, which causes her men to leave her and her bosses to fire her. Now, since I cannot talk about any personal uh, people that I've counseled specifically, I'll provide examples using people that we all know publicly. Keisha Cole, for example, had to suffer through years of pain due to her mother's drug addiction. And Keisha's beauty is almost stunning, yet she reportedly has had difficulty maintaining long-term relationships with men due to her internal suffering. Another woman whose long-term suffering has been exposed recently is Shikari Richardson after the death of her biological mother. Shikari Richardson was raised by her grandmother, not her mother, and this situation often leads boys and girls to have abandonment or rejection issues. And these issues create internal suffering long-term because the child desperately seeks the love, attention, and acceptance of the parent who abandoned or rejected them. Now, some children will become high-level performers in school or high athletic achievers to get positive attention, while some will resort to crime to get negative attention. If their issues have not been resolved before that parent dies, the child will, will often do something to hurt themselves to try to release that pain. Now, it appears that Shikari Richardson is a prototypical hurting modern woman and that through her, we can see someone who is masking, self-mutilating, self-medicating, and self-sabotaging. Masking is a way that hurting people attempt to change or mask their, their personal appearance or natural personality in some way in order to cope with the stress from social pressures, mental and emotional abuse, or harassment. Now, the most prominent way that we can see modern women masking is in the way that they alter their physical appearance with fake hair, fake nails, fake up, or makeup. Shakira Richardson is an Olympic level athlete that does not need to alter her appearance to get attention, yet she chose to dye her hair orange like Riddler from the Batman and attach bat wing eyelashes to her head and glue two inch fake nails to her to her hands. And ladies, when you wear heavy makeup, man sized boys will like it, but real men are the type of man that you really want can tell that it's a mask and that you're trying to hide something. Okay, it makes you appear to real men to be like the clown Pagliacci who was smiling on the outside but hurting inside. Real men also know that makeup, weave, wigs, and fake eyelashes can make a woman who's a four in the face naturally appear to be a six or seven. And we also under, uh, know that you understand that you are going to discover that we are going to discover that you're actually a four eventually. And this tells us that you are not wearing a mask to attract us, but rather to mask your internal pain or as a way to repeat your cycle of pain. 
So we're not going to play that game with you, all right? You know that even a man-sized boy is going to leave you after he sees that you're really a four. Therefore, you have to begin to ask yourself why you put on that makeup and attach lashes to your eyes the size of caterpillars that look like they're about ready to turn into a butterfly. Shakari Rich engages the impression that she is hurting internally with those pubic hair looking butterflies glued to her head. And notice that she also has two inch fake nails glued to her hands with a lot of new growth underneath. And this indicates that she does not have the time or either the self-esteem or self-discipline to take care of them. And ladies, when you wear long fingernails, it tells real men that you do not like to work because your hands are not fully functional. You cannot even wipe your butt good. All right. So an adult male will pump you and dump you. Therefore, you consciously or subconsciously guarantee to continue your cycle of pain. Self-sabotage occurs when a person actively or passively takes steps to prevent themselves from reaching their goals. Now, it can affect nearly every aspect of a person's life's aspirations, whether it be a relationship goal or a career goal or a personal goal, such as losing weight. Shikari Richardson sabotaged her personal goal of, of winning Olympic gold by smoking weed. And most people have, been, have not been told yet that Olympic rules do not totally ban weed, but you just can't smoke when you're in competition. However, long-term pain from maternal rejection or abandonment led Shikari to smoke weed after her biological mother passed away. And people suffering from mommy issues will often do things to hurt themselves if the issues are not resolved before mommy passes away. Shikari hurt herself by sabotaging her chances to win a gold medal, and perhaps it's because she was just running for gold just to get mommy's love, attention, and acceptance. And the hunger to receive the rejected person's accept acceptance is the reason why we see Shug Avery chasing her daddy, trying to show him that she was married. Non-suicidal self-mutilation is the act of deliberately harming your own body by doing things like cutting or burning yourself or pulling out your hair. Self-mutilation is a harmful way to cope with emotional pain, intense anger turned into depression and frustration. And people that are hurting uh, mentally and emotionally, they use self-mutilation to achieve a momentary sense of pain and a, and a release of tension, but that momentary release is usually followed by guilt and shame and a return of painful emotions. Therefore, the person engages in the self-mutilating act again to get their momentary release, but it puts them into a cycle of abuse. And sisters, this is very similar to what a crackhead goes through. See, she hits the pipe to get a momentary release, but then that, a, a little while later, she has to get right back on that pipe again. And ladies, hear me clearly, okay? Getting tattoos is a form of self-mutilation. In order to get a tattoo engraved in your body, it requires you to receive thousands of tiny cuts in your skin. And after it's done, you have created for the world to see an external picture of your internal pain. Some women that have attempted suicide by cutting their wrists get a tattoo placed over, a, over the cuts in order to hide the, their pain or, or cover the shame associated with the cuts. Then before they realize that they have an arm full of, tat, of, of tattoos, or they mark up their bodies with a whole lot of tattoos everywhere. And notice Shakari Richardson has repeatedly engaged in self-mutilation. And once again, it looks like her, it, 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 her external appearance is a reflection of her internal pain. And it's a cry for help. So it's just like Beyonce, I have to ring the alarm because I'll be damned if I see another chick cutting her arm. And for those of you who speak Spanish, see algo es algo. If you see something, say something. Self-medication is a response to mentally and emotionally painful issues. And self-medication happens when a person turns to prescription drugs, illegal drugs, alcohol, or anything that's harmful in order to deal with the situations they find hurtful, stressful, or emotional. People like Lizzo, for example, met self-medicates with food. And she has mental and emotional issues due to her size and weight, yet she uses food to medicate or comfort herself in response to public stress. She recently responded to a social media meme that claimed that she killed a fan by stage diamond. Now, you can tell that incidents like this are painful to Lizzo. You can also tell that she would rather be little, sexy, and desirable to every man available. However, her use of food to self-medicate causes her to sabotage her weight loss goals. And in a similar way, Shakari Richardson used self-medication to sabotage her goal of winning Olympic gold but she also sabotaged her goal of becoming wealthy 
by letting the need to sell Medicaid with weed rob her of all those TV commercials and product endorsement money. Now, it's critical for modern women, especially those who want to get married and have a family, to get therapy. If you realize now that you have been masking, self-mutilating, self-medicating, self-sabotaging, it's not too late for you, sisters. You can end your pain the proper, proper way with proper therapy. And lastly, there are too many black women and men who post comments on social media today who reveal that there is a huge need for therapy in the black community due to low self-esteem. And you can tell the person's uh, self-esteem is low whenever someone points out a situation or description that directly applies to them, they get angry. So even though they know that the person is talking about people in general, or if something is said about men, for example, but the person doesn't preface it by saying not all, they get upset. If you explain situations that occur with people as a general rule, and those, those folks that have a high level of, self, of um, low self-esteem will feel compared to argue not always. So I just want to make the people who feel compelled to post not all or not always arguments to be aware that your self-esteem is low and you need therapy also. All right. Amen. Well, that's all that I have for now. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, share this video with your family and friends, and I'll be back with something new that nobody told you. Until then, remember that God loves you. I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. And I'll see you next time on Maximizing Fatherhood.